Welcome back, Train Tales friends. <laughs> so for the activity today, I thought we could draw a whole train. I found this book in the library and I noticed that it had a train on the very front. So I looked inside and it has a step-by-step -step guide of how to draw a engine and a caboose. So all we would have to figure out is how to draw another car. I thought we could do a cult car. So as you can see, we're gonna be using these shapes, a triangle, a square, a circle, a rectangle, a half circle, and a trapezoid. And that's one of my favorites. Let's get started. I'm gonna turn you down so you can see my page. And I'm going to try to draw upside down. <laughs> so, I'm gonna start over here with my engine. So we're gonna start off with a small square. Then I'm going to do two big wheels in the shape of circles. Then I'm going to draw the top of the train straight out of the two circles I just drew. And the train needs, it's really heavy, so it needs some more wheels. Let's do tiny wheels right there. Let's do the trapezoid one side here, and we'll go out, doot, doot, doot. Let's put a window in so our engineer could see. Then we're gonna do a half circle here and a half circle here. That looks like a pretty good engine. Then you can color it in however you want. Now let's do a big trapezoid. So I'm gonna start right about here because I'm gonna connect it to my engine. This is going to be the bottom. I'm gonna bring it out, out, and across. Because this is where my coal's gonna be for my coal car. Then finally, let's do the caboose. The caboose is gonna have a long, skinny rectangle. Off of the rectangle, we're gonna build the house part where the train workers would stay. So we're gonna give them a couple windows to look out of. And let's draw a cupola so they can see up here really high. There was one of those at the depot. It's gonna need wheels since it's going to be on train tracks. So let's put wheels there, wheels here, wheels here. So now let's connect. We're gonna couple them together. Now they're connected. Let's give them a rail so they can walk out and a ladder so they can walk down to the track. What do you think? Pretty cool, right? Now you can add whatever you want to yours. If you want the train tracks to be going over a bridge, You're going to use your half circles again. Nice. What about some big fluffy clouds? Because it's getting really pretty. We want some big fluffy clouds. I'm going to give them flat bottoms. Yeah? You like my clouds? My bridge? We're gonna do itty bitty little birds flying over the train tracks. That 
was pretty fun. You'll have to show me yours whenever you get done. We'll see you next time, Train Tales friends.